All right, so I'm still working through my batch of uh, 100 ESCs. But I'm getting uh, somewhat proficient at it. <clears throat> so just figured I'd show you how it goes. So here we've got two ESCs. So in my little hookup here, I've already got uh, a motor wired in uh, with banana plugs, three out there. I've got another motor tucked under there and banana plugs here and uh, some power. And uh, that's just a throttle hub that's got the audio out from the computer. So two ESCs. All right, you guys time me. Let's go. Motor connections. One. Two. Three. Other motor. Doesn't matter what order these go in. I don't care which way it spins. All right, two signal cables. You could probably fire up four at a time, but you just have to wire up all the motors. And then we take a couple of grounds. And the way that I control the start and the stop is I have these all hooked up to the ESCs and then I pull the ground on the battery so that way I'm not worried about connecting multiple things and whether or not it's going to get a good connection. Okay, so we're all wired up. And uh, as it turns out, the ESC will just hang out and wait for you. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about the timing and playing the PPM. So right now I've got the, the PPM... Uh, signal that's recorded it's on pause but so there's nothing going in and I can just power up the ESC's and make a little noise and, uh, and now I go over to the computer and you can see I've got my PPM signal that's just in an audio editor I, I just like looking at it um, with the wave file you can see the different shifts in the PPM so I know what to expect when and every once in a while I listen in and just make sure I've got the right number of beeps going. So I start the wave file, I've got a few seconds of silence and as soon as it hits the PPM signal So the first part is it puts it into programming mode. It's interesting that uh, the ESCs are not perfectly in sync with each other. They do tend to drift a little bit. So this uh, signal that I've given you, uh, this recording, is one that I basically came up with that seems to manage the slight range um, because I'd had some other ones where, you know, if you do it on a fast ESC and then you hit a slow ESC, you can actually be in the wrong setting when it gives the command. So this has uh, been tested by doing many, many, many over and listening to them. I actually didn't just listen to them, I recorded the beeps because I didn't want to trust myself. So I, I recorded it on my phone and then I played it back in slow motion. I could count the beeps and make sure I was in the right zone. So anyway, right now it's counting up to the, uh, the first setting, which was 10-1. Um, and I believe... Ten one uh, is about setting the timing to medium high. Uh, so it's function number ten. Uh, sorry, not ten one. Ten four is medium high. So now we should be on ten. You're going to hear ten beeps followed by either a one, a two, or a three, or a four, and it does that three times. Let's see where we're at. Do 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 do. So that's the two. Two. That was the first set of threes. So there's going to be three threes. Then we move to the fours. Now we're on the force. You see the PPM change? So 
So that triggered the uh, end of that program and set it. And now we're back into programming mode again to set the second function. And the second function is uh, 14.1, which is setting the uh, DMAG compensation. Uh, one is off. It's like having a little choir of motors when there's a couple of them going. They're not exactly the same. I'll just take you through the setup since we're having some time here. So from the computer, I've just got my audio out into a servo cable, which is then running up. And I just use that throttle hub because it's a nice, uh, easy way to uh, split the signal. Um, and then I'm feeding each of the ESCs the signal. Each ESC is getting power. And each ESC is hooked up to its own little motor set. So there's those which run up here. So I can get the beeps coming in from a motor. And... The other set is on the yellow here, which is behind the drawer. There's another motor there. Okay, now we're hitting the end of 14. Oh yeah. programmed a little spin at the end, so don't keep your props on for this. That's that last little blip in the PPM. And that's it. 4 minutes and 34 seconds plus a few, uh, a few seconds to hook wires up. Reprogram your ESCs in 5 minutes.